I've always said that one of the most profound things that has ever been said is that you never get a second chance to make a first impression, and I believe that wholeheartedly. So coming up today, I have five fragrances in my collection that I feel are really great for just that, making a great first impression. So if you want to see what I have on the list, you know how we do. Let's talk about it. What's up, YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. This channel talks about fashion and fragrance. So if you're into one or both of those things, I hope you won't mind hitting that little subscribe button right there. And make sure that you don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. That way you get notified anytime I upload new content on the channel. So you guys heard it in the intro, man. We're gonna be talking about five great fragrances to make a great first impression. In my humble opinion, this is not the time to really swing for the fences or wear something super daring. Uh, this is a time you wanna wear something where you play it a little bit safer, all right? So that's gonna be a resounding theme for the most part for a lot of the fragrances that you will see listed today. So coming up after the intro, I have it for you guys. Five great fragrances to make a great first impression. So if you wanna see what I have on the list today, you guys know how we do, man. We've been doing this for a while now. Keep it locked right here. We'll be right back. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into the list, man. The first fragrance that I have up today uh, is a fragrance from the house of YSL, and this fragrance is called Y Eau de Parfum. Y Eau de Parfum. Now, this is one, uh, this whole line that, you know, since the spring and summer has gone by, I haven't really picked this one up as much. But man, I wore it today. Um, I had to go coach uh, my son's uh, playoff game in basketball, and we won, by the way. And uh, I just threw this on. You know, I like to wear when I'm doing any type of sporting event, regardless of the season, I like to wear something a little bit lighter. Um, of course, a little more mass appealing kind of scent DNA. And that's exactly what this is. And it reminded me of how great this fragrance is. It is a home run, in my humble opinion, for first impression because it fits the description. It's kind of easy to wear. It's really a mass appealing scent. And it smells great at the end of the day. Uh, some of the main notes in this fragrance are going to be apple. You have some ginger, some sage, uh, some amber wood, um, as well as tonka bean as it dries down. So you got that sweetness in there. So it doesn't give you too much of anything, but it's just perfect for a first impression. So this is one that I highly recommend. Honestly, you could get any of the fragrances from the uh, the Y uh, lineage of fragrances, and it is going to work. So, if you don't have this one yet, or one of the fragrances from the Y collection yet, get one in your collection, man, because these things smell phenomenal. So, from the house of YSL, of course, YSL, Y. Speaking of first impressions, guys, fragrances play a major role and doing just that, making a great first impression. And that's what I love about fragrance, man. You can take five seconds out of your out of your day, throw on a fragrance, and I always say it's an immediate upgrade to your personal marketability. So it really goes a long way towards helping you create a great first impression. But in addition to that, guys, you gotta take care of yourself, man. Making sure you're well-groomed and making sure that you are taking care of your skin. And that's where today's sponsor, Tease Hanley, comes into play. If you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know that I rock with Tej Hanley and I talk about them at least once a month to tell you guys about a skincare regimen that really works. Guys, we can't neglect our skin, man. I always talk about all those things, combing your hair, grooming yourself, smelling good, but again, taking care of your skin as well. And that's what Tej Hanley has been helping me to do as well as me and the you know, rest of my family as well, because I told you guys before, um, teenage son now is using it as well as the missus. There's some products in there that she really likes for her skin. So that's what I want to talk about today, Tej Hanley. I always say that I recommend you guys start with the level one skincare system, which is really, really simple. There's only four products in the level one system. You want to do uh, the facial wash in the morning, of course, to exfoliate the skin, you know, get it clean, uh, get that clean canvas. 
uh, so that the rest of the products that you're going to be using are going to work effectively. Uh, you want to follow the uh, morning AM uh, wash with the AM moisturizer. All right. So you want to make sure after you wash your face in the morning that you hydrate your skin uh, before heading outside. Now, in the evening time, of course, you want to follow it up with the uh, facial wash again and also apply the PM moisturizer. It's the same thing, guys, as you're sleeping at night. You want to make sure that you are protecting your skin, restoring those nutrients to your skin, and again, just kind of protecting it as you sleep at night. So after you wash your face at night with the uh, facial wash, make sure you use the PM moisturizer as well. Now, the last product that you're going to get in the uh, level one skincare system is going to be the facial scrub. Use this twice a week to exfoliate the skin, get rid of those dead skin, skin, uh, skin cells, uh, of course, and clean out those pores. And that makes the rest of the products that you're going to be using in combination with the scrub more effective, guys. So, again, level one skincare system, really easy to use, and that's why I highly recommend it. And because you guys are my subscribers, Tease Hanley is going to hook you up. So I recommend you guys click down on the link in the description and go ahead and start your skincare regimen. It's really simple, guys. Uh, they're going to give you a free gift as well as a discount on your first box if you decide to go ahead and sign up with Tease Hanley, man. So again, don't delay. Go ahead and click the link down below and get started with the skincare regimen today that works. All right, guys. So the next phrase that I want to talk about on this list comes from the House of Christian Dior. This is from their Privé collection, and this one is called Spice Blend. Spice Blend. And to give you guys a good idea of what this smells like, imagine a little bit more refined version of Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. That's kind of sort of what you would get with this fragrance. And it is great, guys. Really, really great for a great first impression because it is not over the top. It's not gonna be one of those fragrances that are in your face, but it's just, gives you just the amount of right, of, uh, right amount of spiciness, you know, and that really masculine kick that I think really, really plays well in a, for a great first impression. And of course, as the name indicates, guys, this is all about the spices. You have cinnamon in here, black pepper, pink pepper, you have some nutmeg, uh, cloves, and all in and comes combines with some a nice rum, a nice kind of slight booziness from rum uh, in this fragrance. And again, it is just absolutely phenomenal, man. I highly recommend this to people. It's kind of slept on in my humble opinion. Not a lot of people talk about Spice Blend, but it is really, really good for first impressions. So check it out. It's from the house of Christian Dior. This is called Spice Blend. All right, guys, the next fragrance that I want to talk about that's great for a first impression, you talk about a fragrance that is highly slept on, this next fragrance, fragrance from the House of Creed is highly slept on, but it's great for a first impression. This one is called Royal Water. Royal Water, man. And I cannot tell you, man, this one, to me, this is one of those sleepers for me, man. And again, highly inoffensive. You're gonna be meeting somebody for the first time. This is the kind of fragrance that you want to wear because it is really, really safe, but it smells phenomenal. It smells very well put together. Um, you get some nice citruses up top with mint, so very vibrant. Uh, I think there's some ginger in here as well to kind of help push that whole vibrant, fresh, uplifting uh, narrative in this fragrance. And some musk <clears throat> when it starts to dry down, man. There's also a basil in here, so you're going to get a little bit of this uh, almost green, kind of green spiciness that comes with this fragrance. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Again, highly slept on from the House of Creed. So check this one out for a great first impression. This one is called Royal Water. All right, guys, this next fragrance, this is one that you guys are gonna hear a lot more about uh, over the next couple months because this stuff is phenomenal. I I've talked about um, a fragrance from the House of Electum. It's called Vic Sear. That is a really close comp, in my opinion, to Valiant from Bodice to Victorious. Guess what? I found one from Electumus that's really close to one of my favorite fragrances, that is Blue Sapphire, and this one is called Austere. And this one is from the House of Electimus. And guys, you know I was head over heels excited when I found out that this fragrance kind of puts you in the mindset of Blue Sapphire from Bodicea Victorious. Now, that is a rose-based fragrance. This does not have rose, but it does have geranium. And in this particular fragrance, geranium does give a kind of slightly fresh, rosy nuance to this fragrance, but you get that. You get some patchouli in here as well, uh, so you don't have the oud, but this stuff, Trust me, 
is phenomenal. And of course, this is a fraction of the cost of what you would pay for a blue sapphire. So guys, if you see this one, it's called Auster from Electimus. This stuff is an absolute home run. And again, a fragrance that will help you go a long way towards making a great first impression. All right, guys, and last but not least on this list from the House of Chanel, I've talked about this here recently, it's phenomenal. This one is called 1957. 1957, man, and this is just clean, soapy aldehydes in a clean white musk. It's got a little bit of a pow powdery nuance to it, and off your first impression, if you just put your nose to the itemizer here, you may not really fully get it, but trust me, put this on your skin, go around people, and watch the magic happen. Check this one out, guys. I guarantee you this is one that will get a lot of conversation if you wear it out in public around a group of people. It's from the house of Chanel. Great for a first impression. This one is called Chanel 1957. Well, that's it, guys. That's my time. What are some fragrances that you have in your collection that you think are great for a first impression? I would love to hear about those fragrances down in the comment section. And as always, guys, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do, man. And sincerely, I appreciate it. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.